Ask yourself, how many times do you check your smartphone? I know people that check their Facebook 50 times a day. I know that they check their Twitter feed 50 times a day, their email 50 times a day. That was a clip from Dr. Kimberly Young, and she was describing internet addiction, and she just described me. My name's Jake, and notifications were ruling my life. I was wasting my time checking things, so I turned them off. Did it help? It made things worse. So what happened? It all started when I was working from home. I was using Discord for all of my communications, planning, and everything related to my work. This meant that notifications were going off all throughout the day. And oftentimes these notifications would lead to a laundry list of changes to videos that I'd already spent lots of time editing. I very quickly associated the sound of the notification with stress and further work that I didn't want to do, so I muted it. But I still got the red notification icon on my Discord, and every time I saw this appear, I would open Discord instantly. My heart rate would elevate, and I would check if I had any bad news or some further changes. So what was going on here? If you get a notification, it has a visceral physiological response in your body. It released as chemicals. The, the most commonly studied chemical is cortisol. This video from Wired explains the processes that were going on inside of my body. The notifications from Discord were releasing the stress hormone cortisol in my body, causing me to feel stressed and have a really bad time using Discord for work. Constantly getting notifications, beeps, buzzes, vibrations, all of those are contributing to ongoing chemical stress. I wasn't the only one experiencing this in my team. We were all highly stressed, and ultimately we stopped working together. The notifications put an end to our work. Going forward, I muted all notifications across my apps, and I even hid the red message icons. But this led to another addiction, checking. I found myself impulsively checking everything. Anything even slightly related to work, I was checking it furiously, at all times of the day. I was tabbing between them constantly, in between my actual work. And that would lead me to being sidetracked from what I was actually meant to be doing, working on a totally different task. When people are interrupted, right, they're, they're not just interrupted and go right back, back to the task at hand. It actually takes them about 25 and a half minutes to get back to the original task. And what happens in between is they work on two other tasks. This creates a cognitive burden. When I wasn't at my computer, I was checking everything on my phone. I would find myself on a walk in nature and then suddenly feel the compulsion to check my Discord. What if a client wanted some changes? What if a new inquiry came into my email? I must find out now. This cycle was ruining my life. So how do I stop it? First, check your checking. Every time I started impulsively checking, I would stop and ask myself, why am I even doing this? Is there a reason to be checking? And while this questioning didn't stop me from checking, it did start making me more aware of my behavior and begin questioning why I was even checking. As much as we like to think we can multitask, we can't. Trying to work on multiple tasks at once is something I've been very guilty of. Switching from my main task to beginning work tackling on a task I was only just made aware of, which could have been done later in the day or even the next day. The best way that I've found to solve this problem is to just close it all down and check it later. I would often have ambitiously large to-do lists and those tasks would be swirling around my head while I was working on my main task. This meant that only 50% of my mental energy was going towards the task that actually mattered. So one way I was able to mitigate this problem was by giving myself smaller to-do lists and therefore giving myself less mental burden on what I need to do that day. Set time limits. I found this to be the most potent solution. I found setting myself a limited time for work has been the most effective method. If I plan my day with blocks of one to two hour sessions of work and allow for checking in between, I find myself to be much more productive. Disconnect to reconnect. The way that I've achieved this is through taking on a part-time job. When I'm at my job, being on my phone is frowned upon. 
So there's this sort of overarching force telling me to keep my phone in my pocket. And I tell you what, I actually find going to work quite refreshing because of this. Most of my adult life has been spent at home working on the computer, allowing me to check as much as I like. But going to my place of work and not looking at my phone for an extended period of time often puts me in a better mood. This has a knock-on effect of making me feel more sociable and enjoy my time more while I'm at work. But as soon as I get home, I start checking again. One method I would like to add to Dr. Kimberly's point is to observe those around you. I often see those in my household doom scrolling and doom scrolling gives me a sort of uneasy feeling. I find this negative feeling towards doom scrolling allows me perspective to think about my own behavior. I'm still working on my checking to this very day. If I don't check my checking, I can go into a deep spiral of tabbing between Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Discord. It's so easily done. But there has been one thing that has helped me above and beyond everything else. Setting time to focus on a singular task, putting some music on, isolating myself, and just getting to work. This has allowed me to focus on the tasks that I actually want to get done and I find it a lot easier to not get caught up checking. I still have the occasional slip up, but using this method I've able to achieve more focus than I ever thought possible. Having a part-time job has also helped. When a large portion of my day is locked up with having to go to work, the remaining time suddenly becomes much more valuable. Having this time pressure has helped me tremendously. I now feel more motivated to use my remaining hours towards my goals. And the idea of wasting my limited time checking suddenly doesn't seem so appealing. I also have this secret method for increasing your productivity. And it's about creating yourself a routine. If you'd like to learn how I'd set up a routine to increase my productivity, then click the video that's popped up right now. Thanks for watching.